So we all know it's been a while now since Tonex Editor was released, but I still get a fair number of questions concerning certain features that a lot of people may not realize are part of what Tonex Editor is capable of. So today I want to run through a few of the things that I get asked about fairly often, and hopefully it can help folks clear up their workflow a little bit more and maybe add things to their workflow that they didn't even realize were capable with Tonex Editor. So what we're going to do is going to come over to the librarian portion of Tonex Editor. And the few things that I want to talk about, number one, let's say that you'd like to import some third-party tone models that aren't from Tonex, but from a third-party seller like myself. So a lot of people don't realize we can actually just drag and drop them straight into Tonex Editor to add them to our Tonex library, which is going to show up both on Tonex Editor and if we decide to use the software. So I could pull up a folder such as this here. I can come in here and select these. These are tone models from my Vicious Kitty Ultimate and DI collection, which are based off my incredible Bad Cat Cub 5 amplifier. So I could just select these. I can grab them and I can drag these over to Tonex Editor. And what you will notice is those are now right in here. I could search by date modified, bringing those right up to the top here. And you'll see that those tone models have now been added right into my Tonex software library and can now be added to the pedal. So that's a really cool little feature that a lot of folks don't realize and some people might be still going over to their Tonex software to add them and then navigating back over to the Tonex editor. So we can just drag and drop straight into Tonex editor. Now, another neat feature is the auto load feature. And a lot of folks ask me what this button is for. So basically the librarian's main purpose is to be able to take different tone models or presets from our software library, as it says up here on our right pane, and be able to add them in over on our left pane or on our pedal. And I'm using Tonex 1 here as a demonstration. So let's take the Vicious Kitty tone models that I just added in here. These are going to be in our preset library as well as in our tone model library as raw tone models. So if I come over here and I say, let's say I wanted to add this particular tone model in the Vicious Kitty DC 12 ax 72 So what happens when I turn auto load on? You'll notice that whatever selected slot I have over here on Tonex 1 if I select auto load now, what is going to happen when I click on one of these tone models from my software library? It's going to auto load into that slot. So I can come over here, I can choose a different tone model and you notice it's going to auto load. Now without auto load on, I can come over here and select without it auto loading onto the pedal. In this case, I can simply take it drag and drop it over into a slot over here or up into one of the pedal slots over here as well and ask if I want to overwrite. And I'm not too concerned about overwriting right now, but you do want to be careful of that if you have something on your pedal you don't want to lose. So we can just use that auto load function to load into the slots automatically as we click in our software library. It's going to really be up to you whether that's something that's going to be of use to you or not. Now, one thing a lot of people don't realize is we can access ToneNet directly from Tonex Editor. So something we can do here, you'll notice I've connected to ToneNet. Now I can go up to my search bar here. And in this search bar, we have this little filter button. And I can go in and select model name, stomp name, amp name, anything here to search from or default. Now, if I hit Creator, and apply, I could come over here and type something like my name, for instance, and hit enter on that. And it's gonna to search ToneNet for any of the offerings that I have put up on ToneNet. We can take those right here. We could select one of those. This is the free tone model from one of my latest tone partner collections, the Tone Quotient Ultimate Double Cream. And this is just one that you can sample and try out. I could drag that over to my pedal, ask me if I wanna overwrite it. And I can say, yes, I'm fine with overwriting that. Then we can actually take a listen to that. And if we wanted to go edit that to add maybe some reverb to it and a dab of delay, some compression, bring that volume up a bit. We can 
have that right on our pedal from ToneNet pretty effortlessly. Now, obviously, there's a lot of other tone models available up there as well, but I just wanted to use that as one example of how we could use ToneNet. Now, you might ask how I even got into this particular pane here. This little button right here is the button a lot of people overlook. And by default, a lot of times this loads up. This is not engaged. So what happens is we don't realize that there's a lot of power behind this. So I can go back to my software library here for tone models and presets, but you'll notice that I don't seem to have a lot of control over it. I have an info button here, which is quite handy. We can open and close that. But this little button up here in the left hand corner of the software library is really where a lot of magic lies. And what this is going to allow me to do is come in here and to be able to navigate through both presets and tone models. You can go in here and if you have any collections that you've purchased from IK, they should show up here, such as my partner collections from ToneNet, and they will be all right here. Signature collections that you may own will also be here. You can go to your presets that you've made. Now, one of the really, really cool features is the ability to tweak our user folders right from within Tonex Editor. A lot of people feel like they still need to go back over to Tonex software to create these folders. Watch what happens here. If I go to the presets and let's say I want to add a new user folder and I'm going to call it Vicious Kitty because those are the tone models of my own that I just added in here. I'm going to create this user folder. Now you'll see here I can go down to those tone models that I had imported to show you the example of dragging and dropping. I can select all of those. I can simply drag those up to my user folder up here. Now what that's going to allow me to do if I'm on all presets and I just want to find those particular ones since I add them to my user folder, I can simply click on the user folder and I'm going to have those all there. If I'd like to select those, I can drag those all over to my pedal as well. And once I've done that, you'll notice it's syncing up with the pedal takes a second and now I have those on my pedal and I could say let maybe I want the third level of gain on the 12 ax7 here in slot a and the fifth level of gain in slot B I can then come over here and edit those we're listening to the third level of gain right now I could as I was before add some reverb and that mix up Add some compression in there if I wanted to and maybe add some delay to some of these settings I really enjoy <laughs> then I could edit the other slot and maybe add some of the same sort of things in there add some delay and some reverb that's a little higher gain. Got a little bit of noise from the single coil pickups here. I could maybe come in here and add a noise gate, add some compression. So we can really tweak things quite effortlessly here. And have those. ready to go without having ever left the Tonex Editor software. And I now have that nice little user folder. And the nice thing is if I come over to my Tonex software, you'll notice that that user folder now exists over here. I've updated the entire library. So everything is synced nicely across the whole ecosystem. So if we do maybe use Tonex software sometimes in a DAW or standalone on our computer, all the changes we make here in Tonex Editor are going to show up over in our Tonex software library. And as well, we can come to the tone models over here and also also add user folders for the tone models as well if I just wanted to organize my tone models as such also I can come down here again select those tone models drag them up to my newly created user folder and then be able to navigate much nicer and again coming over to the tone model tab over here you'll notice that the same thing happens over in our tone software so everything is synced up really really nicely and of course once we have done all this with our library and we have everything organized the way we wanted it and have added it whether with auto load engaged or disengaged onto our pedal we can come over to our editor like I showed and we can make tweaks to those tones with tone x1 they're going to be auto saved if I was using the tone x big pedal we'd want to make sure to save those changes 
and we're up and running. So those are some of the features that I'm asked about quite a bit. And some people showing some frustration saying, oh, I always have to go back to my Tonex software, but there are things that we can do within Tonex Editor that a lot of people don't realize. And a lot of it is just by finding the right little buttons here to push to open up what we need to potentially improve our workflow. So maybe explore some of this and see if it does help you to maybe have a faster workflow where you don't have to be jumping back and forth between Tonex software and Tonex editor as much as maybe you thought you would have. Today, I'm gonna to leave you with the demo video for my Vicious Kitty Ultimate and DI collection, which is available at my website below. I hope you enjoy the music in the mix. If you're so inclined and wanna grab a copy of that collection, it is available at those links. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I hope that that video is somewhat helpful. Please. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. And please share the video with anybody you think would get some use or enjoyment out of watching it. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I'll be back really soon with some more. Ciao for now.